interesting thing I found out was that when you bunch the clay like this, it makes a spiral. You look at the spiral of the wheel. When I put it down in the thing, it goes along with the spiral of the wheel. Same thing you talked about was the height of the stool. How you, how you approach it. Because when you're throwing, this is your, your focus on the, the wheels as you go up. If you're very low, you're gonna go pull on an angle like this. But if you're higher, you'll pull up straight. So, and the reason why he does that is so it's generally in the right sort of alignment before you even start. So you can see how it's spinning around in the circle of this direction here. And my spiral of my clay is matching that spiral on the wheel. And so when I'm throwing, it's going along with the spiral versus the opposite of that. Pushing my thumbs down, I'm pushing my thumbs and squeezing. And so it's encouraging this clay to move up while this goes down. I hand in and at the same time put pressure on the side here. So this will go up. This will go in and I'll thin them all out. So moving my head over this way, I'm encouraging the pressure to go out and this way. So one thing you do is you hit the rim like this, it'll be all messed up. Apply a little pressure. to buckle and the upper hand you're going to stop it from buckling. No, you really want it to move. This little section right here, clay is there, it's supporting the wall, but when I bring the walls out, I have to dig that out because otherwise it'll cause it to be a spot where it breaks. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. This workshop was fantastic. It was a great learning experience. I'm not as intimidated as I used to be, but throwing a large, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you.